1985, I think. I didn't keep great records in the 80s. I didn't keep the records I started keeping in the 90s. So my 80s photo shoots are always like, uh, sometime in that year, if I, even if I remember that. So 1985 for Musician Magazine, I shot one of my heroes, one of my big time heroes, the amazing, talented, wonderful Philip Bailey from Earth, Wind & Fire. So Philip, being from Earth, Wind & Fire, was huge for me. And I think I've talked about it in the past about how Earth, Wind & Fire was my favorite band in high school and how Maurice White was my hero in my second official photo shoot. But getting to meet and shoot Philip Bailey was just as good. And talking to Philip and having him in the studio and spending the day shooting Philip was just amazing. Um, for me, it was a dream come true. I think later on, I think that same year, I ended up shooting Verdeen White, uh, the bass player from Earth, Wind & Fire for just for fun. I think Maurice hooked me up with that. But I shot it at my studio. I did this shoot in my studio that I had on Yucca Avenue in Hollywood uh, around the corner from uh, Capitol Records. And we did a simple shoot. I did three setups. I did a typical white setup. I did a cheesy, lame-ass painted back backdrop setup. To this day, if you look at my photos from the 80s, I used to use these really badly self-painted, messy backdrops. Um, I regret it to this day. I apologize. It was, this, I don't know what I was thinking. It was the eighties, but I, I look at that stuff and I just cringe, but I did that with him. And then, uh, we ended up shooting for a few hours and ended up having a good conversation. He told me some great stories about earth, wind, fire. I was a happy guy. Good times. So Philip Bailey, I want to say 85 <laughs> musician magazine.